Hey guys, today I wanted to show you what I think is the coolest Copilot feature that I've seen so far. Uh, so it's natural language reporting, which means that we can just talk to Copilot and prompt it, and it's going to go and build us views, charts, and reports based on the table that we're at in CRM or Power Apps. Uh, honestly, I think it's going to be so useful to so many people. Lots of people are spending time building these reports, and you know it gets a little technical. They have to do their ends and their or conditionals, and somebody that's just using CRM from a sales perspective might not want to go into that. So I'm going to show you how to enable the feature. I'm going to show you how to use it. Uh, it's super, super simple. And I think you guys are going to find it valuable. If not, you'll at least find it a little bit interesting. Uh, I'll hop into it. But I first wanted to say, uh, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Uh, this channel is going to be all things Copilot and AI. So if you're somebody that's interested in learning about the new Copilot features that are coming out across the platforms, uh, or you want to start building your own custom Copilot agents, uh, this is going to be a great place for you to sit down and learn. Uh, we also have a community uh, linked in the channel description. So that's a, a school community called Copilot Automation Hub. Uh, feel free to join in if you want. If not, no pressure. Now let's get into it. Okay, so hopping into it, uh, I've opened up my CRM here. Um, where you're going to find this Copilot enabled search is just along the top. Uh, so once we go in, and turn the search on in settings, uh, you should be able to see it here. Um, I'll show you how it works. Um, so I'm just going to switch to my view of all accounts. Uh, we've got a bunch of dummy accounts in here that we want to uh, start searching through. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to ask it, uh, let's go ahead and show our chart, which is going to enable it to uh, be able to build a chart for us. The well, first thing I can ask it is let's go accounts by city. Uh, so we just want a quick look at accounts by city. Let's say I'm a salesman trying to plan my next trip. Uh, where do we have the most accounts? Um, you'll see here that uh, it pulls in our chart um, and you can see that Redmond has the most accounts here. So there are three. Um, so, you know, another example of this is if we wanted to now look for, you know, accounts in Redmond, we can just type that out. Easy as uh, it, it's going to load it up here so we can see our three Redmond accounts and that's it. Um, if you have the chart open, it's going to try and build a chart based on, you know, it's, it's best uh, guess. So we're just going to close that out for now. We don't need the chart anymore, uh, but we do have accounts in Redmond. Uh, but now I'm going to Redmond and I want to make sure that the accounts that I'm visiting do have open opportunities. Um, so what we can type in here is accounts in Redmond with open opportunities. Now, once I run that, it's going to go and do its thing. So that's the beautiful thing about this uh, Copilot search is it is actually using the relationship. So it's not only looking at my accounts now, but it's looking at the related opportunities uh, to these accounts. And you'll see that it's just pulled in two rather than three. That's going to save me some time on my trip out to Redmond. Uh, I'm only going to have to visit two accounts now because they both have active opportunities. So that's how you actually use it. Uh, now I want to show you um, exactly how to turn it on. Um, so what you have to do is you have to go to uh, admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Um, so you'll need an admin in your environment uh, to go and actually enable this feature. Um, you can select any of any of the environments. Uh, I would just use the one, of course, that uh, you want to use the feature in or test it first. Um, you'll notice here uh, that we have a ton of different settings. Um, we're going to go up to the little settings icon in the top ribbon there. Uh, we're going to select that. Um, we're going to be given a whole bunch of options here, but what we want to, where we want to go is products. We want to go to features. Um, so once we open up our features, this is going to give us a whole ton of different co-pilot options uh, within CRM or your Power Apps environment. Uh, we're going to want to make sure that we're enabling any co-pilot features. Uh, you do need co-pilot uh, enabled in your tenant. Um, which I think most tenants should have it enabled by now. Uh, if not, just you know, ask somebody if they can set it up for you. Uh, if you are the administrator, that might be something that you need to go and do. Uh, all good though, it's super easy and very, very inexpensive um, when we're going and actually running these Copilot features. Uh, scrolling down, uh, the important part that we need to go to uh, is right along the bottom, do, 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 continue going. And I might've passed it. I think I passed it. Let's go back up. Um, natural language grid and view search. Um, so this is the one we want to turn on. Uh, it's going to ask you enable this feature for. Um, generally, it's set to no one. Um, if you're uh, 
your tenants a little more locked down. However, uh, you can set it to users as the features become available. This is in preview. I'd go ahead and select all users, all users immediately, to be totally honest with you. Uh, I think that's going to make things uh, a lot easier and people love the new features. So uh, if you go ahead and go do that and select save in the bottom right hand corner here, this is going to uh, light up once you make a change in the settings. Uh, it's going to take a couple minutes to come through on the um, CRM side of things or your power app. Uh, but once it is, you can go at her. Uh, it's going to be available on all the different entities. Uh, you can see, you know, it's not only on accounts, but we have our opportunities as well. Uh, any of the entities that you've built or tables should have the feature enabled. So pretty cool stuff. Um, I think it's going to be a total game changer, to be totally honest. Um, in my experience, you know, there's tons of people that are wanting to build reports and views. Um, that maybe don't know how, but now going forward, all they have to do is just chat to Copilot and it's going to go and do that for them. Um, so hopefully you guys found this video as equally interesting as, as I did or the features at least. Um, again, if you haven't, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.